Okay, the other day I was uh, looking online and I was noticing that there are a few questions that were popping up about sharpening curved grooming shears on a flat home. And uh, I did a video just the other day on this for a fellow just showing him how to rework the front convex surface of a higher end dog grooming shear on the hair or two. And I want to show you this video uh, today to see if that actually helps a little bit and uh, answers any questions. So let's go over to the wolf sharpening room and uh, take a look at what I went through the other day. One of the questions that's come up from time to time is, is when you have a curved higher end dog grooming shear off the ground on the inside, convex on in the front surface, how would you do that on the hair or two or really any other flat home um, to be able to maintain that curved front surface, the convex front surface. Uh, very simple to do actually. Um, what we'll do is we'll start off, we have a, a couple of choices of blades. Obviously when the blade is, is mated together or the shears are mated together, you have an inside curved blade and then you have an outside curved blade. What we're going to start with is the easier of the two blades, which is the one that is on the outside, and we'll clamp that in to our fixture on the hair or two. We'll start the machine up. This is just a 15 micron. I'm only going to work on just one of the pads just to show you what the steps would be. I have the clamp set for 45 degrees for a right hand shear. And I'll do a quick little scratch test just to see where I'm at and my angles are matching fine. So what I'm going to do is to start, I'm going to start working just on the outside portion of the disc right here. You can actually see where with my nail I kind of made a, a little um, line and I, that's about a half inch or so of the outside of the disc. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to work on that portion of the disc, rotating upward and then back out, rotating back up and then back out, and doing that until I bring up a burr on the blade, which I have a burr all the way up my blade now. So what I'm going to do in order to be able to convex the front surface of that shear is I'll rotate just slightly and I'll cut another angle on top of that one and I'll do that again. And then again, this is called a progressive edge, where we're progressively working our way up the face of the scissor. And then work my way back down. Working my way in back towards that tip. And then when I pull this off on the on the shear, it's just basically it's doing a step-up grind on the shear to be able to recreate the rounded front surface on the blade. Again working towards the tip, working my way back down. Back down to the tip. So, a little bit of dressing up in the throat area. I was missing that just a little bit. Trying to stay out of the way of the camera. Working more of the blade as well. And again, same thing following that curvature up and reconvexing that front surface. When I polish that out, all of this would all blend in and that would alleviate any of the irregularities of the shear as well. Alright, so this is the first blade. The first blade is easy enough. The second blade, the one that is the, on the inside of that curve when the shear is together, is the one that's a little bit tougher because that tip wants to point down toward the other side of your disc that would be spinning against the edge. This is turning clockwise, so as it turns, it's going with the edge instead of against it. If it was against it, you'd cut into the paper. If you put the tip down on that other side, though, you'd really run into a bit of a problem because you would actually chew away um, at the paper itself. So what we're going to do here is just make sure that you hold your tip up come across, back over, across, and back over, still just working mainly that one little half inch outer area of the pad. And then again, you would rotate, 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 and do the same thing, working your way back down on that other blade just to go ahead and blend those angles back in and then repolish that front surface. When you do the polishing on the front surface it's much more forgiving as well but the trick is is just make sure that when you have your curved blade where the tip is curving downward that you don't touch 
the other side of the disc from the center of the disc, otherwise you're going to cut into the tip. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Um, it's pretty straightforward, sharpening a convex beauty shear or dog grooming shear on the here to or any other flat hone for that matter if it's curved. Uh, typically you're not going to run into many curved beauty shears. Occasionally you will, um, especially for some that are used for the helix style of cut. Uh, so that's where you would need to know how to actually work those shears as well. I work the shear on the flat hone. Um, if you have any questions, give me a call. Um, the number that you can reach me at or the best number to reach me at is uh, 864-381-8697. Um, I believe that if you're watching this on my blog, that would be in the sidebar. That's a very, just uh, scroll over to the right, go scroll down, look over to the right, you'll find my number on there. You can also email me at otenews, O-T-E-N-E-W-S at gmail.com, and I'd be happy to answer any questions you have there. And then, of course, if you're looking at buying equipment, make sure you contact me first. I can tell you the best places to get it. Um, and happy to help with that as well. So if you have any questions, just uh, give me a holler. Happy to help and hope this video is helpful. Thanks.